Hey and welcome back to another IndieTips.com tutorial for notebook friendly daily filmmaking tips go check out that site and today we will be looking at color grading it's one of the most commonly asked questions on the first video and for all the videos in this tutorial series how did you get your grading what software did you use and I've been putting off producing a grading tutorial for a long time because each grade I think is kind of unique to that shot and there's no doubt if you kind of copy my exact settings, your shot may look horrible. But if I show you how I grade and explain the tools behind this process, hopefully it will benefit you. There are many color grading applications such as uh, Magic Bullet Looks, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Speed Grade, and there is with anything a learning curve with these applications. And as soon as you start looking into digital grading, you'll start to learn about LUTs, lookup tables, nodes, and everything else that comes with it. But as always, these tutorials, it's about keeping things basic, low cost, and getting the best results we can get. So we're just going to be using the standard tools you can find with Adobe After Effects. Now before I move on to the actual grading, I want to show you a technique to help monitor your skin tones. After Effects color grading tools don't really have a way to keep the skin tones intact, which is important if you want to keep your scene looking real. The grade is just applied to the whole layer within After Effects and if this is your intention then great if you're going for that look like a Tony Scott's film Domino, awesome. If not, this is how you keep your skin tones intact. So this was a shot from Sonny and Gerard then three years ago and as you can see his skin is not skin like this is the actual colour. So first of all, with your footage imported into After Effects, you need to first create a digital negative. So first clean your video. Added the noise of your choice, neat video, uh, magic bullet denoiser, uh, After Effects standard. It doesn't really matter, you just want this to act subtly. Add some noise. This helps increase the perceived sharpness for what we're about to do. The amount of noise depends on your footage. I'll use 0 0.5. Now in other applications there's a dedicated key for this type of thing but After Effects doesn't have one so this is what we're doing, we'll make our own. So pre-compose your shot and then hit Ctrl D, Command D to duplicate the shot. And go into Effects and grab the Change to Color and put that on the duplicated layer. So go to the Effects panel and click the teardrop and select the skin tone. Check the view correction mat. Now our, our aim of the game is to get the whole face white and we do this by using the hue, lightness, saturation and you want to get as much of your actor's skin tone as possible and try to avoid the other colours. Once you are happy with your result, add a fast blur which will make everything look smooth delicious. then add an adjustment layer and we're going to stick him between the two footage layers and set the track mat of this layer to luma invert mat. Now, we can adjust the background while keeping your skin tones intact. Now I'm going to let you play around with this. As I said earlier, each grade is unique and the overall grade of my shot, which we'll be looking at in a second, affects the skin tones how I want them to. I, I want the characters to look pale and drawn out. And if you're using a shot where the background has similar skin tones, this is where your cinematography is going to come into play in being able to light and separate the two. So onto the grading. We'll be taking this shot. All we will be using are the curves, and the color balance, and the contrast, and a little bit of saturation. The color balance effect changes the amount of red, green, and blue in the shadows, midtones, and highlights of an image. You can kind of think of it like a poor man's freeway color corrector wheel. So I have my footage which was shot using the Technicolor preset. There is a link to get this preset on the Indie Tip site. And we will do the basic color balance which was talked about in my previous video. So. Now we're going to go in and tweak the settings to the style I'm looking for, which is kind of like this scene that takes place in Lord of the Rings, but with my own spin on it. And this is part of the video that I feel may be redundant, as this is specific to my video only, but hopefully you'll get something out of it and, and see another perspective of color grading. So as I go in adjusting these settings, what you need to be aware of is that you're pushing and pulling certain colors in and out. And as you're doing this, you're also going to be bringing in the opposite. So for example, here I want to take out the greens. There's no, there's no greens in my reference footage. Uh, but as I'm taking out the greens, I'm also bringing in the opposites, which is magenta. So be wary of that or you'll be scratching your head all day at your computer wondering why your footage doesn't look right. So here's my grade. I've cheated a little bit by sticking a pop effect on from Magic Bullet Lux, which you can buy from Red Giant. And I've kept the image a little on the dark side as I'm now adding some 35mm grain, which takes the exposure up a little bit. 
not so much of a tutorial, but hopefully a way for you guys to see another different perspective on color grading. Hopefully this has helped you somehow. And if you are in the market of some Adobe software, IndieTips.com has a lot of offers going over onto Adobe. So go check that out. It will be in the videos article on the site. So that is IndieTips.com, daily notebook friendly filmmaking tips. See you soon.